Good day, everybody. Meteorologist Robert Spetta here on the 28th of April 2011, and we just had an earthquake, a 5.9 magnitude from USGS, take place just off the coast of Guadalcanal here at 0742 Zulu, or at 0642 p.m. local time here in Guadalcanal. Uh, just noting it is this one here in orange, this one here just towards the right here. This is actually 6.9. It took place earlier this week, but if we blow this up here, 5.9 uh, here on the Solomon Islands took place at these uh, times as noted, and if we zoom in, and on the shake map, you kind of move down on here. Only moderate to light shaking actually taking place near the coast here. This is estimated from USGS here. But the large city of Hanera up here, the northeast, only felt light shaking per USGS. Really no uh, reports coming out of there quite yet. Yet EarthquakeReport.com does have a, a orange alert on this as it has it was relatively shallow at approximately 10 kilometers. Yet it's very sparse region right in here. Actually, if we look at the population map from USGS, showing less than several Several thousand people living in the immediate vicinity of this earthquake along the uh, southeastern portion of Guadalcanal. Large city is the uh, capital with uh, 56,000 people along the northwestern portion of the island but like stating uh, really just light shaking there and very common occurrence down here around Guadalcanal and all the Solomon Islands to see earthquakes actually if we look at all the earthquakes since 1900 with numerous earthquakes taken all along this uh, subduction zone to the uh, south of the Solomon Islands here and actually if we look at some of the larger earthquakes of 7.0 or higher actually still in numerous amounts right through this region so a 5.9 is relatively light shaking and the local population kind of takes it uh, off their shoulders here. And as shown in this picture here, kind of mountainous near some of the areas along uh, Guadalcanal, but overall very uh, tropical and very a lot of rainforest throughout this region. So potential for mudslides is relatively low at this time due to the fact if you look at this IR image here over Guadalcanal right in here actually pretty clear right out here there's a large area of convection towards the south near New Caledonia here but over the exact region actually if we zoom in on the satellite picture kind of a clear to sunny day out here so the potential for any mudslides uh, associated with this earthquake event is really low but that is all for right now everybody if you want more in-depth and detailed reports please go to earthquakereport.com the link is below if you're watching this on YouTube that's earthquake TACReport.com. Also, if you wish to uh, see some more videos from here, please go to the channel here. Also, I have another channel for the meteorological aspect out here in the Western Pacific, and that is down here as well. Just go click here and check that out if you want to uh, get some local weather uh, for this region out here. So uh, that's all for right now, everybody. Thanks again for listening, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.